It's so amazing. I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is going to be a little tricky with Christmas. Like if you get freaked out about stuff like this, just like skip a minute. Don't let anything stop you. I'm on like a excitement high. So I have the Megan Grubb Bowen Tee, the cream one on, and I really like them. I really like the sweatsuit. I'll pop a picture of me in the purple one, but this is really random. But I had a Charlie horse in the middle of the night last night. It also felt like a dream. Sometimes, you know, when things happen in the middle of the night, it feels like a dream. It was like that, and the Charlie horse, like, I haven't gotten one of those in so long. First of all, I don't know why they happen, and also, it's the weirdest feeling. Your leg, it just feels so, like, weird, and it hurts, but... I just want to talk about it. Like, does anyone else get those? Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened while you To the salon! <laughs> you know that TikTok? No, of course I know, it's just <laughs> weird that To the from. stove! Feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when we didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause I was Mary. 
Oh my gosh! Look how cute! Oh. Marcy, 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 come here. Aw, Pete! How do we feel about it? Do you need my help? Honestly, yeah. Okay. So my pancakes are gonna. We're gonna keep the tension. Have fallen out. Keep the tension. Keep. But I also need her head to like. <laughs> I also need her head to get like go like down. Should I give it to her? Looking good. You can just yeah, kind of occupy her. Peanut, sit down. You want to take over this? Because I'm not doing a good job. It's not that you're not doing a good job. There's just a lot of things I would do differently. <laughs> yeah. So just like literally just like take a bunch. But I need you to like be more on this side so that I'm out of frame entirely and they're like together. Down. Down. Place. Shh. Relax. Down. Bup, bup, bup. Leave it. <laughs> back up, back up. Come on, back up. You were doing so well. Place here. <laughs> Down. She was trying to do it before. So All right, back to the pancakes. This is turkey chili that I did not make. Remember when my father taught us how to play guitar, and we started up a band in my garage. Alright, so as these cook, I'm just going to put it into my fitness pal 
So you go to the bottom down here and you'll hit more. Oh my gosh. Hello. Excuse me. More. And then under meals, recipes, and foods, then create a recipe at the bottom. Then it'll ask you enter ingredients from the web or manually. I will enter them manually. Oh my gosh, this is so glary. Sorry. Alright, so title. Pancakes. Servings. So I did, uh, it made three pancakes each in one serving of the pancake mix. So I did three servings of that. So, nine. <laughs> And then I can add ingredients. So basically I'm just going to add the ingredients. And then that'll be that. So what I like to do the most. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is down here at the bottom. Is I'll click scan. Right there. So then you'll take it. You'll scan it. Okay. So say that I'm going to do this syrup. Then I just take the barcode. And you put it there. It scans it and it brings it up. This is for anyone who doesn't know how to use this app. I really like it, actually. Okay, so I'm going to do that. You don't need to say any of that. I'm also going to be moving around. And then we come to the end. And I'll be right back. Ugh, I kind of like burn these. So I decided to change it to eight pancakes, not nine. And it comes out to that. These are the macros. Not that it really matters. I'm just sharing. And... Yeah, so then it's in here so that I can just add it to my uh, diary for each day, like whenever I have it. I'm only going to have three right now, and then I will keep the rest and eat it throughout the week. That was the whole point of me doing this. Prepping. Back when, way back when. So I'm eating dates filled with cream cheese. Has anyone had these? They're so yummy. I like dates a lot. I've tried it with peanut butter before, but I didn't like it as much. But I put cream cheese in it, and they're really tasty. Cheers. I got this new shampoo, so we'll have to see how I like it. The other one was pretty good, but it was like whatever. It's fragrance free. So I guess we'll have to see. I'll keep you updated. Like I said, the other one was pretty good. Um, I think it was called Original Sprout, but I just want to switch it up because I didn't love it. I'm also out of breath. <laughs> okay. I just got accepted into PT school. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. I was just bawling my eyes out. Because it's so exciting, oh my gosh. It's so amazing, I've been waiting for this for so long. And I got in, I also feel like I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It just happened like five minutes ago, I have to tell you. Even though you're gonna see this like a week later. Oh. I feel like I need to breathe. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And I got into a school that I really want to go to. All right, all right, all right. So it's the next day. Oh, I actually have these pants on. If you saw my Target haul, um, they were in that, and I love them. They're so comfy, and I put them right over my, I'm out of breath, my uh, biker shorts, which are the Whitney Simmons collection. You know what? I was looking to link them in um, a couple vlogs ago. They made so much of that collection. There's like still a decent amount of inventory. Is that what that's called? Um, like product left. But that's not why I came on here. So yesterday, it's the next day, obviously, from finding out that I got into PT school. Um, that clip that you saw like a couple minutes ago, or a minute, 
uh, was very, like right after I found out and oh my gosh, I was like bawling my eyes out, so excited and I just like felt like so overwhelmed. I was very emotional yesterday. I think it was just like a big um, relief that like so much effort going into getting into a school and it's like something that's so important to me and like my career and like morphing my world of training rehab pt like everything is like all coming together it was like everything you you not you me everything i worked for is like like i got it such a cool feeling and if you've ever had that feeling you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't had that feeling you'll have it it's so cool and regardless i just wanted to mention like I said, it was so long that I've worked for this, like, five, six years, kind of, of, like, the process to becoming a PT, even though I'm not one yet. But this is just, like, um, solidifies that I will be going. Like, I will be going, and I'm gonna be in the school, and just be a PT. It's just the coolest thing. And I just wanted to mention it, just because, like, you gotta go after your dreams. You gotta. Like, you have to. And now, you and I are talking one-on-one. -on -one. If you have a dream, like, you have to go after it. Do anything you can to get it done. Because, like, it's worth it. Like, even this, like, Kate the Great, becoming a trainer. Like, and goals are different for everyone. Dreams are different. But, like, you have to go after what you want. Like, it's just the coolest thing. <laughs> And it's your life. Like, it's your life. And you can do anything you want. Like, anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just so cool. Alright, so anyways. Let me know. Let me know, like, what dreams you have. Like, message me, Instagram, uh, comment below. Just, like, any... Like, let me know, like, what your dreams are. And, like, what you want from life. Because... What I was saying, I think I said it in my productivity um, video. I'll pop it here. But, all right, this is going to be not that long of an outro. Just got a couple things to say. But I mentioned it in this video up here that, oh, I lost my chain of thought. Oh, my gosh, this is the longest pause ever. Oh. That like, oh my gosh, I lost it again. All right, we're just going to move on from what I was saying. Maybe it'll come back. Other things I want to chit-chat about. Um, I'm going to talk about something that's like, um, has to do with like joints and like hypermobility and like double jointed. If you've ever like seen anyone do something like in regards to that, I'm going to show you. But like if you get freaked out about stuff like this, just like skip a minute. So my fingers, I'm going to try to show you like close up excuse me so I can do this and it's basically like it looks kind of funky can you see yeah so you see how I can bend this part with and this part wait I can't oh my gosh hold on I'm holding the camera <sighs> right before this falls this part <laughs> that part of my finger my knuckle this knuckle is straight and it kind of just like dips in so it like hyper extends and then the this part flexes okay i'll stop doing it but basically that happens a lot and especially like when i'm on my mouse or when i'm on the trackpad with my computer and i have that external trackpad my fingers because i had my nails on if you don't know what i'm talking about about my nails like go back like couple weeks videos I had to stop wearing my nails because I was allergic to my nails and whatever so I had to stop wearing the nails because the nails were fake I had tips and then I had a dip powder and like gel dip gel and I when I would use the trackpad because of my nails I can't have my fingers like this because the nail would like get in the way of the trackpad so, like, I couldn't have my skin on it to use the trackpad. Anyways, by default, without me realizing, 
I would work like this. So I already knew I could do this. Oh my gosh, I just said I wouldn't do it again. But I would work like that with my fingers like that. I would just have so much pain in my hands and it would just hurt at the end of the day. But now that I don't have my nails, maybe it's a good thing because then my joints would hurt a lot. Whatever. And I feel like even though I miss my nails, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. But I, maybe it's a good thing because I don't have the pain in my hands anymore. And it had, had to be that. Even when I would type, I would extend, hyperextend in that locked position. And they would get stuck. Alright, regardless. Anyways, moving on. One more thing I wanted to mention. What's funny is... Actually, it's not funny, but I was, like, looking into more of... So, like, my rashes, you know, I can't tell, but they're, like, still here. My allergic dermatitis rashes. Again, if you don't care about this, just skip. This is probably the last thing I'm going to say. I, um, have been keep getting the rashes, and I was thinking, like, what am I using? Because I've cut out so much stuff. Oh, I really like that shampoo that I bought yesterday recap on that the other one's like fine like i said but that shampoo is i like it a lot the, the shampoo oh and the conditioner i like the conditioner better than the shampoo the shampoo like initially smelled like kind of funky probably just because it has no fragrance i'm just not used to things with no fragrance but okay yeah so i figured i'd chat about that in case you care or if you need or know anyone who has to have like minimal ingredient allergy kind of free of acrylates and fragrance i'll lay them down below okay what i was saying i was like messing around with tape like tape like that like you uh taping something together and i got my rashes again and then yesterday i had to send out a package and i was messing around with a uh, packing tape and my rashes were like flaring up again and so I guess I'm allergic to tape which is going to be a little tricky with Christmas maybe I'll have someone else to wrap my Christmas gifts because I'm actually really bad at wrapping Christmas gifts and I don't really like it I like to give the gifts but like the wrapping process I feel like it has to be perfect okay so yeah I just thought it was like interesting and random like who says that so, allergic to tape. I gotta avoid tape, I guess. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I just wanted to, like, talk about those random things because, um, yeah, just to chit chat. Okay, so, final notes. Go after your dreams. That's all I got to say. Whatever you got, go after it. And don't let anything stop you. Like, don't let anything stop you. Even if people are like, Oh, like when I first started training, people were like, oh, maybe this isn't for you. Like, maybe training isn't like the career. And people would like try to talk me into like different careers. And it's like, whoa, hold up. Like, no, I'm going to be a trainer. I'm going to be great. And here I am. Humble brag again. I am the best. One of the best. And now I'm going to be a PT. Like, whatever you got to dodge, get it done. Because it's worth it. So, I'm excited to take you on that journey with me, PT journey. Woo! And thank you so much if you've watched this video this long and if you've made it through this whole spiel that was 10 minutes long. So, it's fun to chit chat though, and of course, I love a good blab. Even though I blab this to everyone else, like IRL. Okay, so I gotta chill. I want like a excitement high. Hopefully I'm not emotional today. <laughs> I was just crying so much yesterday. Oh, and my family. Such gems. Got me a cake. I'll pop it here. It's really cool, actually. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'll stop popping. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. It was so fun hanging out. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you next time.